Hi, my name's Edward Dick, and I've been building and repairing guitars for 35 years. I'm also the director of the Colorado School of Luthery, and one of the things I've had to do is build a lot of guitar bridges. Laying out the holes for the bridge pins has always been a bit of a pain, and drilling them accurately has been even more difficult. So recently I had some templates made, some bushing templates that will help me in that process. It's made, these are made from 3 8 inch lucite, it's a very hard plastic material. And I've had them lay out the holes for six most common sizes of bridge pins spacings. It varies from 2 and 16th here to 2 and 3 8 there. So I want to show you a little bit how I use this template. In this case, I want to build a bridge for this old Martin D18. And so I'm going to start by using a caliper to measure from the centers of the two E strings between them, and that's exactly two and an eighth inches, which is the most common Martin string spacing. I then laid out the shape of my bridge as well as where I want my bridge pins to line up. And I've also laid out the positions of the two E strings. I'm going to go ahead and place my template, my bushing template, over top of that using the two and an eighth inch spacing. And I'm going to put a couple spring clamps to hold it in place, like so. Double check that everything's centered, so it looks like this. So let's go ahead and cut those holes. So any time you want to drill holes through a piece of wood, you want to use some kind of a backing board so that the drill bit doesn't blow out the holes on the other side. Um, in this case, I've got a piece of MDF, and I've cut it in such a way so that it fits between my spring clamps so that the bridge blank sits down nice and flat against the backing board. I'm using a 3 16 inch spur bit um, you can use a twist drill bit, it works just as well. You could also use a hand drill, although the drill press makes it a little bit easier. It's important that when I'm lining these holes up with the drill bit, I'm obviously using my eyes, but as the drill bit enters the bushing template, I hold it just a little bit loosely so that it can, the drill bit centers itself in the hole. Let's go ahead and drill those holes. So as you can see, we have six holes, nice and clean, very evenly spaced. It's going to make uh, this bridge very accurate. Um, some people might wonder a little bit about the durability of this plastic. And although, you know, if you want to, you could actually make other templates from this template. Either, you could even make them out of aluminum if you want them a little harder. Although I discovered that if you're careful with when you drill the holes and you allow the drill bit to center itself in the hole, there really is no damage to the holes whatsoever. Um, one of the things I will sometimes do is I'll make, especially when I'm building guitars or other instruments, I will make templates that are, are the exact shape of my bridge and exactly position of where I want my bridge pin holes to go. In this case, I'm actually lining them up so that they will be parallel to the saddle slot, which is angled. I've also done that with this Martin-shaped bridge here, as you can see. And I've also put some 80-grit um, sandpaper on the two wings of the template here, so that when I put it on the bridge blank, it, there's no chance that it's sliding around. But that's about it.